Welcome to Scrubmas Day 17. Let's see what we got in the stocking today. Ta-da! I have a lot to say about this first. Okay, this is actually a DIY version of the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. But I do have a lot to say first, okay? Because I know what people are gonna comment. The St. Ives Apricot Scrub is way too harsh for the face. They've had lawsuits, people suing them, blah, 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 blah. I don't remember when this was. I don't know, I really don't care to do research on it. You can enlighten me in the comments if you want. But I feel like it was like somewhere around 2016. I remember a lot of people talking about the St. Ives Apricot Scrub and like a lot of people were like suing them because of it being too harsh on the skin, whatever. I don't know. All I wanted to do was try to dupe it again because years ago, I actually made a DIY version of it and I posted it on my YouTube channel. That video is now not on my channel. So I decided I wanted to try to recreate it again, but I didn't like that formula I used before. If you guys want me to repost that video on my Patreon, let me know because on Patreon, I will repost old videos that I have like taken down from my YouTube channel. So if you want to see that, let me know. I will repost it, but yeah, I wanted to try to recreate the formula again to see if I could do that. And I did, and I think I like it a lot more than the previous formula. Actually, I know I like it a lot more, but it's up to you if you want to use this as a face wash. Again, a lot of people say that wal the walnut shell powder is like way too harsh for the face. Honestly, I hear people say you should never use a physical exfoliant on your face because it's too harsh. In my opinion, I think a physical exfoliant on the face is fine as long as you are being gentle and you aren't being too harsh, but that is just my own opinion. Do I think this is too harsh for your face? Maybe. I'm just getting on a tangent here. Basically, all I'm trying to say, if you are not comfortable using it on your face, that is totally okay. You can use it on your body or on your feet. This isn't specifically a face wash. I'm not telling you guys it's a face wash. I'm just duping the St. Ives face wash and showing you guys how you can make it and letting you know that this would make a great body scrub or foot scrub. I'm rambling. Let's get into it so you guys can see how I made it. To begin, you need a heat safe container to combine the phase A ingredients. We're gonna start out with some glycerin and then I'm adding in xanthan gum soft. You wanna combine these two together first because xanthan gum is actually the thickener in this product. So it's gonna be thickening up the face wash. Well, actually it's partially gonna be thickening just a little bit and it's also gonna help stabilize the emulsion, but this chunks up when it comes into contact with water. So we need to mix it with glycerin first before we add it into water. So once those two are combined, we can add in our distilled water, mix everything nicely together and you'll notice you'll get a thick gel. So set that to the side and now we're gonna work on phase B. These are all the oil soluble ingredients. So I'm adding in glycerol stearate SE cetyl alcohol and cetyl alcohol. So these are thickeners and emulsifiers for this product. Now we're going to place both A and B, which is a pan filled with a bit of water, and we're gonna put on about medium heat, and we're gonna cover both beakers with some foil so none of the water splashes in, and you just wanna keep an eye on this as everything starts to heat up and everything in phase B dissolves. Once everything is, or not dissolves, melts. Once everything is melted in phase B, you wanna remove phase A and add back in any water that evaporates. So make sure you weigh this before actually heating it up so you can count for any of the water loss. Now, once all of that is done, you can remove phase B and pour phase A into B. So you're pouring the water-based ingredients into the oil-based ingredients. And then you want to immediately mix with an immersion blender, some kind of high shear mixer, because this is an emulsion we're creating. So you need a high shear mixer and you'll notice you'll get like a lotion consistency. Now you wanna set that to the side and let it cool until it gets to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it reaches that temperature, we can add in the phase C ingredients. So we're gonna start out with some foaming apple. This is a naturally compliant, like EcoCert anionic surfactant. This is gonna help lather and create lather and foam in the product and help cleanse the skin. And then I'm gonna add in some decal glucoside. This is a non-ionic surfactant. So this will also help cleanse the skin. And then I'm going to add in apricot extract. And I got this from formulatorsampleshop.com, but you can use any extract you want here. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I just use apricot because that's what the St. Ives apricot scrub uses. And then lastly, we're adding in Liquidermal Plus and we're combining all that together. 
And actually, I lied. That's not the last thing because there's actually one more thing we need to add in. The walnut shell powder, the exfoliant. This is what makes the St. Ives scrub, right? This is the ingredient that's going to be super controversial. And I'm like dreading people commenting things, complaining about it. Guys, you don't have to use the walnut shell powder if you don't want to. So don't use it if you don't want to. But I wanted to see if I could do this again. I, you know, I talked about all this at the beginning. I don't need to talk about it again. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. Um, that's the product. That's how she looks. Let me know what you think. Also, I want to know, do you like the St. Ives apricot scrub? And did you also use it as a teenager? Because this was like the go-to face wash for teenagers when I was a teenager. So let me know. Also, if you want the formula, it's down in the description box. And I believe that is everything I have to say for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. You get access to the entire backlog and for $10 a month, you can get a shout out for your small business. So let's shout everybody out. Nature's a farm girl. Let's blend LLC.com. Stardust bath and body over on Instagram hempygirl.com, shoplevis.com, owl and lily over on etsy, embracebeautyessentials.com, legendary bath and body, astari apothecary, revega cosmetics here on youtube, exorebb.com, pardo naturals, natural state skin, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatelier.com. You can use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, Shark City Naturals, and daytorelaxproducts.com. And the rest of these companies are launching soon, skinbydavu.com, 7th House and Oak over on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, mycrownandglowery.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Literally, without you guys on the Patreon, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I do. So thank you so much. <laughs>